Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. This video will be taking Carpenter from level 70 to 80 in the MMORPG known as Final Fantasy XIV. Now before we begin, we have a short shopping list that we need to purchase. And if you do not intend to meld your gear as deeply as I have with material, then I highly recommend purchasing these materials in high quality to give you a boost in your quality bar to make up for the lack of control stat that you might have. So without further ado, please purchase 6 Aurum Regis Nugget, 6 Growth Formula Iota, 6 Kuju Thread, 6 Mana Silver Nugget, 12 Miracle Apple Lumber, 26 Santique Lumber, 12 Starch Glue, 6 Stone gold nugget, 12 titanium nugget, 12 white ash lumber, and 12 zonor leather. Now I'm going to show you the gear that we used at the end of the previous video. Now please keep in mind that if the gear is not already melded, that you do not need to meld material into the gear currently because we're going to be crafting recipes that are way under our level for this first section of the video. Also keep in mind that if you do not already have gear, you do not need to purchase high quality gear. Just purchase a decent amount of gear that's level appropriate. And if you do need to raise your stats in any way, you can eat high quality blood bowl based food and high quality cunning craftsman syrup to bring up your control and CP. So now we're going to speak to Beaton the guild master at the carpenters guild and accept the level 60 job quest known as uncharted territory. From there we're going to head out of the carpenters guild and right when we exit the double doors we're going to turn left and speak to Semi Jin Holly. After that we're going to head to the Adventures Guild. So we're going to head due east past the Aetherite Crystal and then due south into the Carlene Canopy. And once we arrive, we're going to look for three Gridanians, two of which are immediately once we enter. And the third one is down the steps to the left toward the airship lobby. So here we go. The first one we're going to speak to is now Gamdula. After that, we're going to speak to Adelhard, which is to the left of now. After that, we're going to go downstairs on the left. We're going to follow the staircase and we're going to speak to Farhar, who's sitting in this waiting area at the airship lobby. After that, we're going to go back up the steps and speak to Semi Jin Holly, who is right in front of Antoniat the innkeep. After that, we're going to head back to the Carpenter's Guild and speak to Beaten, the Guildmaster, to complete the quest. After doing so, we're going to speak to Beaten again and accept the level 63 job quest known as the Game of Confidence. And then after doing so, we're going to teleport to Kugane. And once we arrive, we're going to head due west toward a place called the Shio Kaze Hostelry. Now please remember this location as we're going to return to this place very frequently throughout this portion of the video. So here we are, we're going to head due west and once we get inside, we're going to head to the right a little bit up this little stack of stairs and speak to Semi Janali. After that, we're going to then turn around and head back to the main Aetherite Crystal and take the Aetherite Telepoint to Kogain Dori Market. So we're going to head there now. And once we arrive, we're going to be looking for Semi Janali and she's waiting in the alleyway to the south of the Aetherite Telepoint. So once we arrive, we're going to turn right. And we're going to head down this alleyway right behind the Aetherite Shard. And we're going to speak to Jemmy Janali. So as you can see there, I showed you on the map how to get here. After doing so, we're then going to turn around and head out of the alleyway. And once we exit the alleyway, we're going to turn right and head due east and speak to Shiranami. After that, just a little bit to the left behind her, we're going to speak to Kiku Sui. After that, we're going to turn left and head back toward the Aetherite Telepoint and speak to Yachio, who is in front of Urait, the independent jeweler, and Muto, the armorer. After that, we're going to turn around and head to the Aetherite Telepoint and teleport to the Shiokaze 
hostelry. But this time around, we're gonna be entering from the west entrance. There we go. Once we arrive, we're gonna go up this little ramp and into the Shiokaze hostelry. After we get to the other side, we're gonna go up this little flight of stairs. We're gonna turn left and we're gonna speak to Semi Janali. After a quick dialogue, we're now gonna have to craft a high quality lavish dressing case. Now please keep in mind that if you fail to high quality the item, you can speak to Semi Janali and get new replacement materials. But don't worry, this craft should be fairly easy because you have over leveled the difficulty of the recipe. So we're gonna put in lavish dressing case into our crafting log and we're gonna start off with reflect which will give us three stacks of inner quiet now this must be done as the first action after that we're gonna go with waste not two which will lower the durability of our next eight steps by half and then after that we're gonna do basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch and with our final two stacks, we're going to do Great Strides into Fire God's Blessing, which should complete the quality bar and give us 100% HQ chance. So now all we have to do is work on progress. So we're going to do Veneration and then two to three careful synthesis to complete the craft. So here we go, Veneration, and then our first careful synthesis and our second one. And if you need two, you can do a third one. You have enough durability, but I'm pretty sure it'll only take you two. After we've crafted our high quality lavish dressing case, we're gonna to speak to the withdrawn woman and hand over our key item. After that, we're gonna to speak to Semi Janali again to complete the quest. After that, we're gonna to speak to Semi Janali again and accept the level 65 job quest known as a lesson in listening. After that, we're gonna turn around and exit to east and speak to Semi Janali who's standing in front of Ume. All right, so here we are. And after a quick dialogue, we're then gonna turn around and speak to Byakudan. And after that, we're gonna to speak to Waka. And then after that, we're gonna turn around and cross the bridge right before Ume's shop and speak to the dull-eyed adventurer. After that, we're gonna head back into the Shiokaze holstery and speak to Semi Janali. After that, after a quick dialogue, we're then gonna to have to craft a high quality stylus pipe box. And just like before, in case you fail to high quality it, just speak to Semi Janali again and get new recipe materials. But don't worry, this craft should be fairly easy to complete, just like the previous one. So we're gonna start off Reflect, and then we're gonna do Waste Not Two, then Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, and with our last two stacks of Waste Not Two, we're gonna use Great strides into Bire God's Blessing to complete our quality bar. And now we're gonna work on our progress. So we're gonna do veneration into two to three careful synthesis. And there we go. We should have crafted a high quality stylus pipe box. So now we're gonna take this to Ume. So we're gonna exit due east and then speak to Ume at her Umeko's tea house and hand over the key item. After that, we're gonna head back into the Shiokaze holstery to complete the quest by speaking to Semi Janali, but this time she's on the lower level, she's not on the stairs. After doing so, hopefully you should unlock the ability known as manipulation, but if you're watching this video at a later time after Shadowbringers has come out, there's a possibility that Square Enix has changed the skill rewards. So now we're gonna to speak to Kotokaze and accept the level 68 job quest known as live and let dine so now we're gonna teleport to yanixia and specifically we're gonna take the namai teleport all right so here we go i'm gonna take the teleport now and once we arrive we're gonna head due north and speak to semi janali so you can either take your mount or you can sprint up it's up to you 
I'm gonna take the flying mount just because it has a fast moving speed and then we're gonna speak to Sammy Jamali and after a quick dialogue from there we're gonna head due south back toward the Aetherite crystal and then we're gonna speak to Ryzen. Now remember this location because we're gonna come back to here later on in the quest. After that we have to look for three residents of Namai. The first one's very easy, his name is Miyake, is very close by. But the second and the third one, you have to head past the Aetherite crystal and then you head due west and speak to Ingara who's up this little ramp where the rice shoots are. After that you're gonna head due north up the ramps all the way up to the northwest edge of the orange circle and speak to Manazuru. After that we're gonna turn around and head due east and we're gonna go down these little hills and speak to Semi Janali who's behind this building over here. After a quick dialogue, we're then going to have to craft a high quality ornate partition. And once again, if you fail to high quality the item, just speak to Semi Janali again to get new recipe materials. So we're going to start off with Reflect. And now we're going to use our new ability known as Manipulation. And for the next eight turns, it's going to give us back five durability, which is really powerful. Then we're going to use Waste Knot 2. And we're going to use a new ability called Preparatory Touch. And we're going to do that twice. After that, we're going to do Basic Touch, Standard Touch. And we're going to use the last bit of our Waste Knot stacks to do Great Strides into Bio God's Blessing. Then we're going to do Veneration. And we're going to do three careful synthesis to complete the progress bar. In case you need to, you can do another careful synthesis because you should have a lot of durability left over. And there we go, a high quality ornate partition. From there, we're gonna head back to Ryzen. So we're gonna head due south, near the Aetherite Telepoint Crystal. And we're gonna deliver our high quality ornate partition. So go ahead and hand over that key item. And then after that, we're gonna teleport back to New Gridania. And we're gonna head to the Carpenter's Guild. So here we go, we're teleporting to New Gridania. And as we head to the Carpenter's Guild, we're gonna get interrupted by a quick cutscene when you get closer to the building. So as you can see here, it's gonna interrupt our movement. And then we're gonna get a cutscene and we're gonna actually be returned to the game inside the Carpenter's Guild. So now we want to exit out of the Carpenter's Guild and when we get out of the double doors, turn left and speak to Semi Janali to complete the quest. After that, we're going to speak to Semi Janali again and accept the level 70 job quest known as Tea Party Rules. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And after that, we're going to head back into the Carpenter's Guild and we're going to speak to Beaten, the Guildmaster. So here we are at Beaten the Guildmaster, and after a quick dialogue, we're then going to head out of the Carpenter's Guild, then due north, and then we're going to turn left onto the bridge and head due west and speak to the Gridanian soldier. So after a quick dialogue, we're then going to have to head to the Miketo's Amphitheater. So to get there, we're going to have to take the Aetherite Telepoint to the Miketo's Amphitheater. So we're gonna have to turn around and head due east toward the main Aetherite Crystal. So we're gonna cross the bridge. And once we get to the main Aetherite Crystal, we're gonna take the Aetherite Telepoint to Miketo's Amphitheater. After that, we're gonna head due west across this little bridge over here and speak to the Alamegan soldier. After another quick dialogue, we're gonna head back to the Carpenter's Guild and speak to Beaten the Guildmaster. Now after a quick dialogue, we're gonna have to craft a high quality tea house bench. And in case you fail to high quality it, don't worry. 
just speak to Sema Janali and get new materials to craft with. So we're going to go and synthesize now. And we're going to start off with Reflect, followed by Manipulation, Waste Not Two, two preparatory touches in a row to get us to seven inner quiet stacks. After that, we're going to do Basic Touch, then Standard Touch, Great Strides, and Byragoth's Blessing to finish off the Quality Bar. Then we're going to do Veneration and three careful synthesis in a row. So one, two, and our third one should complete the craft. Now if you need, you can do another fourth one. You still have a lot of durability to play with. All right, so now that we've crafted our high quality tea house bench, we're gonna to speak to Gerhard and hand over our key item. After a decently long dialogue cutscene, we're then going to have to head to Alpuku Falls. So we're going to head to the main Aetherite Crystal. So we're going to go ahead and exit the Carpenter's Guild, then head due east to the main Aetherite Crystal. And we're going to teleport to the Lancer's Guild. Once we arrive there, we're going to head due west across the bridge. And then through this rocky alleyway. And once we get there, we're going to speak to Gerhard. After a quick dialogue and cutscene, we're going to head back to the Carpenter's Guild and speak to Beaten the Guildmaster to complete the quest. Alright, so there we go. Now we've completed all the job quests for this section. And now we're going to head on to the Lev Quest section of the video. So we're going to teleport to the Crystarium. We're going to open up our teleport list. And we're going to head to the Crystarium. And once we arrive there, we're going to take the Aetherite Telepoint that's right in front of us. And we're going to head to the Crystalline Mean. So go ahead and do that now. Head to the Aetherite and we're going to Aetherite Telepoint. And here we go. Underneath the Amaro launch is the Crystalline Mean. Once we arrive there, we're going to turn right and we're going to head due south to the second green tent. And that's where the Crystarium Levs are. And we're going to speak to Erekor, the Levmet. And that's where we're going to be accepting our Lev quests. And we're going to stand in between Erekor and Moise because Moist will be where we're going to turn in our Lev Quest. So now I'm going to show you the gear that I use for this section of the video. Now please keep in mind you do not need to meld your gear as deeply as I have with Materia, but you will need to get to a minimum of 480 CP after all food and buffs are applied. And we are going to be eating high quality Blood Bullet Base food for a CP boost as well as a control boost. And if you still need more CP, you can drink a high quality Cunning Craftsman Syrup. Also take note, if you have not melded your gear as deeply as I have with Materia, you can use high quality materials instead of normal quality materials to give you a nice boost to your quality bar once you start the craft. This will save you quite a large amount of guilt because you won't need to meld your Materia that much. So now we're going to grab the level 72 lev quest known as Understaffed. And this is going to have us crafting three high quality apple wood canes. So we're going to go ahead and open up our crafting log now. And in the recipe search bar, we're going to put in apple wood cane. And at this point, if you need to, you can go ahead and use high quality materials to give you a boost to your quality bar. So now we're going to hit synthesize. And we're going to start off with reflect to get us to three inner quiet stacks. After that, we're going to use manipulation and then we're going to use waste not two. Following that, we're going to use two preparatory touches to get us to seven inner quiet stacks. After that, we're going to do basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and try and finish off our quality bar. So we're going to do Great Strides into Byragoth's Blessing. 
After that, we're now going to work on our progress bar. So we're going to use veneration. And after that, we're going to finish off with two groundworks. If you still have any progress bar that you need to complete, you can go ahead and feel free to use careful synthesis to complete the craft. All right, so now we've crafted a high quality applewood cane, but because this is a triple turn in, we're going to have to craft two more high quality applewood canes. So we're going to use the same rotation that we just used. So it's going to be reflect manipulation, waste not two, two preparatory touches in a row, then basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, great strides, fire God's blessing to finish off our quality bar. Then we're going to work on our progress and do veneration into two groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted those three high quality applewood canes, we're gonna now turn them into moist. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over the first one. Yes, S complete. Some additional yes, hand over yes, and complete. And some additional yes, hand over our third one, yes, and complete. Now we're very close to level 74, so we're going to have to do this left quest again. So we're going to grab the level 72 left quest known as understaffed. And it's going to have us crafting three high quality applewood canes just like before. So we're going to be using the same rotation that we used earlier. And that's going to be reflect, manipulation, waste not two, two preparatory touch in a row, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, great strides, fire God's blessing, veneration, and ending off with two groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted those three high quality applewood canes, we're gonna now turn them into moist. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over the first one. Yes, S complete. Some additional yes, hand over yes, and complete. And some additional yes, hand over our third one. Yes, and complete. All right, so now that we're level 74, I'm gonna show you the gear that we use for this section of the video. Now, please keep in mind, we only changed the main hand and the offhand weapons, and that's the Blue Spirit Half Heart Saw and the Blue Spirit Claw Hammer. And as you can see, the rest of the gear stayed the same because this level 71 gear is actually very powerful. And we actually don't need to change our gear all the way up until level 80. All we needed to do is change our weapons, and that's good. So now we're going to grab the level 74 lev quest known as horde of the rings it's a very good lev quest so we're going to be taking this all the way up to level 76 and this is going to have us crafting three high quality white ash bracelets per lev quest so we're going to go ahead and open up our crafting log and put that in our recipe search and once again if you do not have your gears melted as deeply as i have you can use high quality materials so we're pretty much going to be using the same rotation that we used earlier and that is reflect into manipulation and then waste not two then two preparatory touch in a row to bring us up to seven inner quiet stacks after that we're going to do basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch and then for our last two waste not stacks, we're going to do great strides into Fire God's Blessing to complete our quality bar. And then we're going to do veneration and two groundworks in a row to complete our progress bar. And there we go. We've crafted a high quality white ash bracelet. But this is a triple turn in, so we're going to have to craft two more. 
So we're, once again, we're going to do reflect into manipulation, followed by waist knot two, then two preparatory touch in a row, then basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, great strides, by our God's blessing, veneration, and ending off with two groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted three, we're gonna hand them into moist. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over our first one, yes, complete. So but additional, yes, hand over, yes, and complete. And then some additional, yes, hand over our third one, yes, and complete. All right, so now we're level 75, but we're not 76, so we still need to grab the level 74 lev quest known as Horde of the Rings and craft three more high quality white ass bracelets. So I'm gonna be using the same rotation that we used earlier and that's gonna be reflect, manipulation, waist knot two, two preparatory touch in a row, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, great strides, by our God's blessing, veneration, and ending off with two groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted three, we're gonna hand them into moist. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over our first one, yes, complete. So but additional, yes, hand over, yes, and complete. And then some additional, yes, hand over our third one, yes, and complete. All right, so now we're level 76. Now, please make sure that your buffs, like your high quality blood bowl based food and your high quality cunning craftsman syrup are readily available make sure their timers are still okay as you can see here i need to, to refresh my high quality cunning craftsman syrup so now we're going to grab the level 76 lev quest known as a hit and a miss and this is going to have us crafting three high quality santique longbows so we're going to go ahead and open up our crafting log and in the recipe search we're going to put santique longbow and we're still going to be using the same rotation that we've been using for the past couple left quests so we're going to start off with reflect followed by manipulation then waste not two two preparatory touches in a row to get us to seven inner quiet stacks followed by basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch and then we're going to complete our quality bar by using great strides into by our God's blessing. Then we're gonna do veneration and we're gonna end off our progress bar with two groundworks in a row. And there we go, we've crafted a high quality Santique longbow. But because this is a triple turn in, we're gonna have to craft two more. So I'm gonna be using the same rotation that we used earlier and that's gonna be reflect, manipulation, waste not two, two preparatory touch in a row, Basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, great strides, by our God's blessing, veneration, and ending off with two groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted three, we're gonna hand them into moist. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over our first one, yes, complete. So but additional, yes, hand over, yes, and complete. And then some additional, yes, hand over our third one, yes, and complete. All right, so now we're gonna grab the level 76 lev quest known as a hit and a miss. And we're gonna craft three more high quality Santique longbows. So I'm going to be using the same rotation that we used earlier and that's going to be reflect, manipulation, waste not two, two preparatory touch in a row, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, great strides, by our God's blessing, veneration, and ending off with two groundwork.
All right, so now that we've crafted three, we're gonna hand them into Moise. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over our first one, yes, complete. Some additional, yes, hand over, yes, and complete. And then some additional, yes, hand over our third one, yes, and complete. At this point, we should be level 79, and if you're not, you should be very close to it. All right, so now we're gonna grab the level 76 lev quest known as a hit and a miss and we're gonna craft three more high quality santee longbows and also please keep in mind that the level 76 lev quest that we're doing is much better than the equivalent in the level 78 lev quest bracket so i'm going to be using the same rotation that we used earlier and that's going to be reflect manipulation waste not two two preparatory touch in a row Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Great Strides, By God's Blessing, Veneration, and ending off with two Groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted three, we're gonna hand them into Moise. So we're gonna go ahead and hand over our first one, yes, complete. Some additional, yes, hand over, yes, and complete. And then some additional, yes, hand over our third one, yes, and complete. All right, so now we should be very close to level 80. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the level 76 lev quest known as a hit and a miss. And to be honest, we probably only have to craft one and turn it in. But we're gonna craft two just so I can show you what it would be like when you try to turn in a second or a third one. So I'm gonna be using the same rotation that we used earlier, and that's gonna be reflect, manipulation, waste not two, two preparatory touch in a row, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Great Strides, By God's Blessing, Veneration, and ending off with two Groundwork. All right, so now that we've crafted our high quality Santique longbows, we're gonna turn in the first one to Moise and we're gonna hand over, yes. And this should hit level 80, so we don't have to turn any more in. If you're not 80, go ahead and turn in the rest that you've crafted. But if you have hit 80, you can hit no, complete the current order because you're EXP capped. All right, bada bing, bada boom, level 80 carpenter, yay yay. Thank you, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, and ringing that bell for future notifications on videos that I might be posting in the future. And in case you're interested in supporting the channel even more, I do have a merch website at streamlabs.com backslash dngdangerous backslash merch. And until next time, take care, goodbye.